Uh, pretty excited. It's supposed to be an exciting game, you know, night game at the shoe is always exciting. In particular, going into that offense? Oh, yeah, it's a lot of passing, a lot of dink and dunking, but uh, it'll be a good, uh, good battle. Are you guys ready for it based on the way the year ended last year? Uh, or even Coach Meyer said this is the the real test y'all been looking for to show you can play right. pass defense with the big boys, so to speak, and stuff. Right. What tells you y'all are ready for that, Duran? Um, just all the training, just all the film study, and just the uh, hard work that we put in day in and day out. So, you know, you trust your training, you'll be fine. What is it that makes them so effective in the passing game, Duran? Uh, they have a uh, a big, they have a group of diverse receivers, you know, on the inside and outside. That they can catch the ball pretty good. Uh, they, the outside receivers are pretty solid, and so are the inside receivers. So he has a lot of weapons. Joshua says that the key to stopping that is to know what's coming before it's coming. Right. Is that is that the case? And if so, how do you how do you do that besides putting the work in the film room this week? Yeah, I mean, you just gotta uh, trust it. Like I said, you just gotta trust the film work. Um, you gotta know what's coming, so you can want to be able to play the ball. You know, when you know where it's going. So. Just like with that, you just got to trust everything. Josh used the word disheartening to describe last year and mm -hmm. not being able to, to defend the pass, you know, from not, not just the, the DBs, but from the entire back seven. Right. How difficult is it to go through that process to rebuild your – I mean, that's, that's a position back there. It takes a lot of – you yeah. have some confidence and swagger to play back there. Right. You also got to have a short memory, too. So with that, you know, you just got to take it for what it is and just keep working to get better and trust your trainer. <clears throat> Is anything different when you play a team that, say, has one great All-American receiver that uh -huh. you know you guys got to you know, worry about that guy versus a team you talked about they have multiple right. guys? Does that change anything about how a secondary approaches a team? Um, it might be a little bit, but at the end of the day, you just got to study your keys and, and just scout and scout who you're going against because every, every team's different. Have we, have we seen this past defense really? so far this year or the fact that you played Navy and they didn't throw it and then the right. Kent State game kind of, you know, yeah. was out of hand early. Right. Have we really not seen what you guys can do yet? Uh, I think so. And I think this would be a good test. Okay. So this will be really the, the yeah, you, I think you're feeling so. that like the first time that yep. we're really going to, okay. A lot, a lot of people said, you know, I think Coach Tuberville has said that this is the best group of receivers. I think Coach Combs said it. Um, Urban said it caught his eye. Is this, do they have better receivers in Clemson? I mean, is this, are they that good? I haven't played them yet, but on film, I probably wouldn't say that because just out of respect to who they who they did have on, with two draft picks, I don't split it out. But uh, I probably say that it's going to be a good challenge for us.